the tunnel that we're doing, it's a 105 inch diameter and a mile long. So we'll be able to cross I-25, Frontage Road, two railroad tracks, Fountain Creek, and about 3,000 feet of wetlands without disturbing the surface at all. Overall, the SDS project is under budget. We had an original plan that had a few tunnels and some open cut out into the wetlands. We went to the contractors to get their best ideas on how to approach this construction and came up with the tunneling method, which actually saves us $10 million over our original baseline budget. A lot of planning went into this uh, part of the project. It's a very technical piece of the project, um, one of the, the most uh, technical in terms of equipment and planning to make this successful. Behind me, there to the left where the crane is working, there's a 42-foot diameter launch shaft and it's 85 feet deep. They went deep enough to where the whole tunneling process will be down in competent rock. Now the white machine behind me, the, the round one's there, that's the tunneling machine itself. It's 105 inches in diameter. Here in a couple hours, they're gonna be lowering that down into the shaft and starting the tunneling process to go from here clear over to the east side near Hanover Road. What's going on behind me is we brought in a big crane to lift the tunneling machine out of the retrieval shaft and that marks the end of tunneling excavation on this project. This is an eight foot diameter, a little over eight feet diameter machine, a soft ground machine that, was, uh, that we used in this 5,600 foot uh, drive. It's got teeth instead of uh, cutters and as you can see, the operator sat in that chair right there. Pretty much uh, 12 hours a day, six days a week. There was a conveyor system here, so we, you didn't have this much room to begin with. You'd have to climb up onto the belt, and you'd crawl up in here, and that's where you'd check out your head. Our next steps are cleaning up the tunnel, getting all the tunneling utilities out of, out of the tunnel. Then we'll install a fiber optic line and then we start putting in the carrier pipe, the 66 inch pipe, which is all of the raw water pipeline on this system. will continue through this tunnel and we will be installing that pipeline in the next steps. This is still absolutely the right choice. Environmentally, we have left zero footprint for a mile in an area with a lot of mature trees, rookeries and so forth. And in the long run, this is still the best option and we are successful in our work.